Hey everybody, this is Donicus, and today I'm doing a review of the G.I. Joe Whirlwind with uh, Short Fuse. The G.I. Joe Whirlwind is one of the early G.I. Joe vehicles that can hook on to any other Joe vehicles and be pulled. Uh, another thing for its emplacement is it can rotate 360 all the way around. It actually doesn't go 360. I thought it did. Okay. It goes around like this. Again, it's going to go up and down to varying degrees. Uh, you see the detailing on here. It was very nice. Very decent. The stickers here. Here. And so on the back here, on the hitch. That's on both sides. And you got the G.I. Joe emblem right there. I figure you can sit here. Uh oh. That popped off. I'm gonna take your short fuse out. And show the console on the inside there, we can see that. And most, most, uh, we find loose ones of these, they're not complete. A lot of things that are missing are just the targeting computer, the covers here and here, the seat, and the wheels. It's nice, basic. Vehicle. I much prefer like the earlier vehicles like this, more of the army colored ones instead of the crazy sci fi vehicles and neon colors of the later years. Now I have short fuse. There's a uh, he was supposed to be the grenade launcher guy. This is the grenade launcher. Uh, a helmet with a clear visor, which the visors are really hard to come by. And he has a backpack. I have an accessory pack version on here. Because uh, my 80... My, eight, my 1982 short views is backed away somewhere. And he was the one that had driving the... Or manning the whirlwind, so... It is what it is. Like most Joes, he has articulation in the shoulder. Elbow bend. He's got the arm swivel. And the 82s do not have that. Heads go back and forth. Waist articulation due to rubber band. T rod joint in the upper leg allows for the legs to go up and forth, back and forth like that. Knee bend. Like most Joe's, are just generic. They have their generic posing ability. Of course, it does come with this. Is a grenade launcher. Which, uh, Stand for it is usually always missing. Usually always, but then there's a ton of the accessory pack version, which is basically the same thing. But, uh, if you're a fan of the G.I. Joe's, definitely worth getting. Especially due to the first couple of year Joes are really harder to find. Worth getting. They're be the better looking ones. Uh, I think it's a little loose. I don't find the rubber bands to fix them. Maybe. Eh. Well, you can see the details. There's a green suit. All 82s 
guys are like that. They have the generic army look to them. But, if you're a joke collector, definitely worth getting having him and having the whirlwind. It's a nice accessory for the larger vehicles. Uh, this is a quick one. If you liked this video, fan of G.I. Joe's, let me know in the comments down below. Who's your favorite Joe? What's your favorite vehicle? What's your favorite episode of the original series? Let me know. And make sure you like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week.